What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Living in Arizona and today we are going to talk about visiting Arizona and when the best time of year to be in Arizona is. And I'll just come off the top and say obviously it is not uh, June to uh, the end of August or early September, right? So late May, early September, that is not the best time unless you like saunas, you like being in very hot climates, and that's kind of obvious. But there are some pretty cool things to know about that time of year that you may find interesting should you choose to come to Arizona during that time. From about late July to uh, mid to late, yeah, mid to late um, September, we're in monsoon season. And I say early September, mid-September because it transitions into hurricanes, which create like these tropical storms or these storms. Um, but monsoon season in general, it's kind of exciting because at night, there's usually these big clouds that just build up and create thunderstorms. But so that's typically though, not the best time because it's very hot. Like these, su these summers can get pretty grueling. I mean, you're gonna have to get air conditioning no matter where you stay. And it's like you step outside and you're just like, oh, this is kind of exhausting hot. It's tolerable. It's definitely tolerable, but it's hot. OK. Um, but the best time of year to visit Arizona is probably the other months. And that's at least for the southern part. If you're going to go to Flagstaff, uh, Grand Canyon, maybe you'll consider going in the summertime. Uh, because Grand Canyon, for example, if you go there in December, it's going to be more than likely put potentially snow on the ground. January, snow on the ground. Flagstaff, snow on the ground. Um, so it's cold during those months. So Flagstaff is, is a great getaway is Flagstaff, even Sedona. Um, those rivers up there can be really cold, though, even in the summertime. So it, it, it's, it's going to really depend on where you're going to want to go. Uh, like if you're living in Phoenix, a lot of people just do a retreat up to Flagstaff or even the Grand Canyon, Payson and stuff like that to beat the heat. But, um, for the most part, people come to Tucson, Phoenix, uh, you know, Yuma's always, almost always one of the hottest places. Um, another place that people like to go, I've mentioned this in a couple other videos is Puerto Penasco in Mexico. It's the beach down there. Outside of Puerto Penasco, you know, you have um, you have Los Conchas, which is where the big houses are. You go the other direction, you have Cho Choya Bay, which you guys know where JJ's Cantina is. Um, and people usually like to go down there for spring break. So if you're coming to Arizona for spring break, you're really going to have the fun down in uh, Mexico, down in Puerto Penasco, also known as Rocky Point. Uh, the winter in Arizona... It's weird because occasionally it will rain, it will snow on, on, of all days, Christmas. Like, if you're ever going to see snow in Phoenix, it seems like it's going to happen around about uh, Christmas time frame or New Year's, believe it or not. Um, and it, another weird thing to think about is we do get frost here. You'll wake up in the morning and, and like, there'll be puddles of water from rain or whatever, and there'll be frost on that. It'll look like ice, right? Like uh, ice on the on the puddle and f frosty uh, grass blades, so that's another thing. So it can be too cold. I mean, I've even seen it in March, uh, back in the golf tournaments in uh, northern Scottsdale at this place called Desert Mountain, which is a prestigious uh, community in North Phoenix, north of Scottsdale, north of uh, Troon and uh, Legend Trails. It's called Desert Mountain up there. Uh, I want to say it's called Tonto Hills out there, but I've been, I, I went to the tradition in mid, mid March and it was cold. I mean, I remember one of the pro golfers, he said, man, it's colder than Alaska. <laughs> it was cold out there and it was middle of March, still cold. So, I mean, Phoenix right now, I'm in Phoenix here in the Southeast Valley. It's been hot, unseasonably hot. It seemed like it usually cools down around uh, Halloween time, but it's still pretty, it's still 77, 78 degrees every day. And here it is, you know, November 8th. So we're still seeing some unseasonably warm temperature, but it's getting close, especially as we get towards um, Thanksgiving. It's going to really start to cool down. And in December, you know, it, it's almost like by the time December, middle of December gets here, your feet are going to be cold. <laughs> you know, when you're walking around your house, it's going to be cold in, in, at night and in the mornings because it's going to be really chilly. And that'll probably last 
uh, pretty cold through January and sometimes it doesn't start to warm up again until April. You know, you'll have little spurts where it'll start to get warm again in Phoenix. And when I say warm, I mean, we're talking out of the 60s, like, you know, 70 is a good temperature from uh, December to March. If, if you're in the 70s from December to March, that's better than what you can expect, which is 60s, 50s, 50s and 60s in Phoenix, Tucson area. Now, while it's 50 and 60 in Tucson areas, or uh, Tucson and Phoenix, it's going to be below freezing, uh, you know, 30s in the daytime, 30s, 40s in the daytime in Flagstaff, Prescott, Sedona. Down here in Phoenix, it'll be 50s, 60s. So it is about 20 to 30 degrees cooler up in the high country, as they like to call it. But um, I would say it depends on what you like. If you're coming to Arizona for like snow and like, you know, that kind of stuff, probably February is a good time to get snow up in the White Mountains, Payson, January, February, late December. But if you're, if you're a snowbird, say, and it's still cold in Chicago and you want to get away from the heat, that's why people, they do spring, spring training down here and in Florida because we get some pretty good weather. Although there has been some spring trainings where it was still rainy and cold even during spring training, which is March. Uh, so that's that's a concern. You know, like the, the worst thing for uh, these ball clubs to come out here is to have to deal with cold weather, right? They leave Chicago, they leave New York to come to Phoenix uh, to get warm weather. And then all of a sudden it's cold in Phoenix and they're like, well... This isn't really great spring training weather. So Phoenix is heavily dependent upon that uh, element of success with warm weather during springtime, which is March, essentially. March, April. Well, really, March is when spring training begins. Um, late February, right? So, yeah, I mean, by February, March, it should be mild. It's, it's going to be a little bit warmer than Chicago, New York, maybe 10 to 20, 30 degrees warmer uh, consistently. But every once in a while, we get these things called El Nino. Now, El Nino is like a fluke weather phenomenon where the weather just doesn't respond the, the way it normally does. So that kind of creates an issue uh, if, if and when you hear about El Nino. Now, La Nina is the exact opposite of El Nino. So um, whatever effect you would see with El Nino or whatever effect El Nino causes in the ocean, La Nina is the opposite. I think one warms the water and one's abnormally cold water. So you would, you would want to look into El Nino and La Nina years if you're coming to Arizona uh, to visit and make sure you're not coming during those because you're not going to be able to get like a farmer's almanac uh, true reading, so to speak. But um, yeah, I mean, if you're trying to grow cr crops out in Arizona, uh, you know, you gotta, you're going to have to get plants that are going to be uh, freeze resistant and then uh, drought tolerant because, uh, you know, you're going to be dealing with both ends of the spectrum, freeze and extremely hot weather. It's kind of weird, right? Um, at night, it tends to cool off pretty good because we're high elevation. So, you know, I think Phoenix in particular is over a thousand feet, Tucson maybe a little bit higher, and then Flagstaff in Prescott being over a mile high, 5,000 feet elevation. So that's kind of an interesting tidbit to put out there. But because it is so high up there at night, it does cool off pretty nicely. Um, other than that, I mean, the best time to visit Arizona is definitely in those months that are not June through early September. That's my opinion. Uh, Phoenix, at least. If you're gonna go to, if you're gonna go north, that you should be fine. Flagstaff, great time. Uh, you know, people in the winter they go up to Flagstaff, snow bowl to uh, ski and stuff like that. It's pretty popular for snowboarders. Um, if you're going to go to like the Grand Canyon, say, like down to um, Havasupai, it's weird because it'll be cold and snowing up on the top of the rim, but then you go down to like the Colorado River and it'll be like Phoenix weather down there because you remember you're going to be descending several thousand feet in elevation down the canyon. So you can get Phoenix kind of weather, Vegas kind of weather down there at the Colorado River level. Whereas up at the top of the rim, it's going to be pretty cold. That's it's been my experience at least. And just the lower you go, the more uh, cold or the more warm it's going to get. Okay, guys, if you have any other questions, please do feel free to ask us. Subscribe to Living in Arizona. We do videos like this. I like to I like when you guys ask me questions about Arizona because it gives me ideas for videos and I'll start answering them. So we'll see you guys next time.